So if you're thinking to start your journey with tech, then you should spend your time very wisely. And you should really watch this video carefully because in this video, we are going to talk about best technologies to look for in 2022. So now a lot is going on in the tech industry right now. New technology is coming up every day and the existing one is on constant modification. So on number fifth, I would like to keep blockchain. Now blockchain technology refers to the system of recording data so, this, so that it becomes almost impossible to change, hack or cheat on this data. In a blockchain system, information is stored in different different blocks later chained to each other. Now the only practical implementation of this technology that we see today is in cryptocurrencies. But that will undoubtedly change in the upcoming years because of the variety of performances that blockchain technology holds in different fields. Now blockchain technology can help us to develop decentralized system that will ensure security, reliability and increase efficiency and much much more. Now if one wish to work on this technology and play their part in laying the building blocks of the future then the following skill set should be the focus of that candidate. Now you should really learn about Python, C Sharp and you should also understand the solidity and concept of uh, object oriented programming. You should know about data structure and you should know about cryptography. Now the knowledge of distributed networking and systems and also interoperability between different technologies. And there is no doubt that the blockchain technology will become mainstream by the end of this decade. Now, uh, if you must be following then you should know that the roles that one can serve while working on this technology uh, can become a blockchain engineer. You can also go into the field of digital mining. You can be a smart contract developer, which is a very good high profile job out there. If you talk about this industry, then the global blockchain market was valued at 4.67 billion US dollars in 2021. Some of the multinational technologies that are currently working in the field of this futuristic technologies are blockchains. Uh, you can also say the chain Ripple Labs. Ripple Labs is doing a great work out there. Chromaway, Intellectsoft, these are the few companies that are working on this technology right now. On number fourth, I would like to keep virtual reality and augmented reality that is quite happening out there these days. Now VR and AR technology have been fascinating for us and but now this is the time when we uh, you know use these technologies and we can uh, make these technologies more mainstream. Now virtual reality shuts the door of the physical world and it takes us on the immense visual experience. VR has been mainly used in gaming uh, in the past decade. On the other hand, AR can add digital elements to live physical views as seen in Pokemon Go. And with the introduction of Web 3.0, these two technologies will excel exponentially by the end of this decade. Now following skills are required to start a career in these technologies. Uh, you should have a good programming skills of course. You should have the knowledge of C, C++ and JavaScript and Swift if you are going with the iOS side as well. And you should also have the knowledge of technologies like XR and XR SDKs. And you should also have the knowledge about machine learning and definitely you cannot do anything without 3D animation and modeling. And graphics rendering is definitely a must. Now following roles are offered by prominent global companies in virtual and augmented reality. Now you can become a software developer in this technology. You can also become an AR VR maintenance guy. You can also uh, become a graphic engineer. Uh, you can also look at the project and you can become a product manager as well. Uh, you can also become a game developer. Uh, you can also become an XR gameplay and tools engineer. Quite fascinating job roles out there. And the virtual reality market can grow by 75.57 billion uh, during 2021 to 2025. Some of the global companies that are flowing some of the dollars in the research are Microsoft, Apple, you can also talk about Meta now, and VR Vision Incorporation, ScienceSoft, Scanta, Nilentech, and Citrus Bits. And also Gravity Jack is also doing good out there. And on number three, I would like to keep cybersecurity finally. As the name suggests, cybersecurity refers to protecting anything connected or related to the cyber world. We saw an exponential jump in the number of cyber threats while the world struggled with the ongoing pandemic. Uh, the need for solid cybersecurity is on a constant rise. 
The world as a whole is moving towards the internet. We are more digitally dependent like never before after pandemic especially. Cyber security is undoubtedly going to open new career pathways in the upcoming years. You know, programming skills like C, C++, PHP, and Java, knowledge of Linux, Unix, and Windows operating systems are again good for the people who can move into networking or OS exploit site. Knowledge of cloud computing and SaaS models are good out there, though there are few uh, multiple branches that you can work on that is called as web pen testing, network security, they are really in high demand out there. And you can also uh, do the testing of the softwares if there is any open bypass port out there. The stream of cybersecurity is versatile and on a constant boom. This field can provide you with various exciting roles in global organizations. Some of these roles are like you can be a cybersecurity analyst, uh, you can be a network security engineer, uh, you can also look for cybersecurity manager, you can be a security infrastructure architect, and after a hell lot of experience, you can become a CISO that is called as Chief Information Security Officer. The global cybersecurity market size was valued at 197.36 billion in 2020 and is projected to reach 478.68 billion by 2030. A large number of multinational organizations are working towards providing cybersecurity services. The field of cybersecurity is constantly excelling, which is also creating many job opportunities. I can also name few companies that are doing amazing in the field of cybersecurity like IBM, Microsoft, Amazon, Cisco, Symantec, and how can we forget FireEye? On number two, I would like to keep IoT, Internet of Things. Uh, the Internet of Things is a system of interconnected devices, machines, people, animal, and even objects. A thing can get connected to the IoT and is provided with unique identifiers which allows it to transfer data over the network without any human or computer interventions. Now, many industries worldwide are rapidly adapted uh, to IoT technologies, which opens the new door for individual skills in handling IoT technology. To start a career in the field of IoT, one must hold the knowledge and experience in technologies uh, like C, C++, and Python. You know, digital networking concepts and the knowledge of microprocessors and microcontrollers, sensors, interfacing, and knowledge of similar uh, peripherals are definitely required. Now, you should also have the knowledge of wireless communications. OSI, you must have heard about it, based reference models. And after acquiring significant knowledge and skills in these technologies, uh, you can definitely apply for different profiles related to IoT developer. Uh, you can be an embedded system designer. You can become IoT solution engineer. You can become IoT infrastructure architecture. You can also become a system administrator. So now the global IoT market size was USD 308.97 billion in 2020. Some of the multinational organizations that are currently working amazingly in the field of IoTs uh, could be Oxygen, and it could be ScienceSoft, uh, you name it, the soft tech is also doing great. And we cannot uh, forget the big giants like Cisco, ARM, Indium Softwares, and iTech Art is also playing a good part out. Last but not least, I would like to keep cloud computing. We all know the cloud computing help us to deliver various internet computing services. It provides us with flexible resources and with the help of innovation and the economics of the scale. Now services that can be achieved using a cloud server uh, include networking, storage software, servers, databases, analytics, and intelligence. Now every cloud user usually pays particularly for the service they use. This reduces the operating cost and provides the scope of scaling with business charges, of course. And cloud computing has already become a crucial part for functioning of businesses and organizations over the internet. With the introduction of IoT and blockchain, the need for advanced, secure, and fast computing uh, services is constantly increasing. Someone who wishes to start a career in the field of cloud computing must definitely have the skills of programming, which is definitely mandatory in every field, like you really need to know about Python, Perl, Ruby, PHP, and .NET could be here, and you should know about the basics of networking. You should have the knowledge of database, security and privacy, 
agile development of operating systems you can say you should definitely on the top notch level should know about the virtualization basic knowledge of public and private cloud and any individual with these skills uh, can definitely work on to some really amazing profiles uh, some could be like cloud computing systems and network administrator or you can also become a cloud network engineer uh, you can also become a cloud automation engineer uh, you can definitely become a cloud developer as well uh, you can be a cloud architect uh, you can become a cloud security manager you can also become a cloud product manager now the global cloud computing market was valued at 368.97 billion in 2021 which is the reason why i'm keeping this on number one now there are some uh, companies that are that are providing fantastic cloud related solutions uh, this could be google cloud ibm cloud is also there the most famous amazon web services aws and of course microsoft azure Oracle or is also providing it. Alibaba is also having uh, its own cloud, Salesforce and SAP. So these were the few technologies that I would like to suggest you where you can invest your time and you can start studying about it. And definitely every technology takes some time in order to learn it. So make sure you choose any one of them and I'm pretty sure that you'll definitely excel up to the mark with the time in this era where the technology is changing every day. So for more such interesting tech related videos, consider subscribing this channel.